Hello, Ma'am Shai. This is my favorite artist, Ms. Gerda Maria Frederick Wegener, born on March 15, 1886, and died on July 28, 1940. So the following are some of her famous artworks, and she likes to paint her transgender partner, Lily LB. I noticed that her genre of paintings are mostly um, portraits, illustrations, and nude paintings of women. So the first painting is Solar Rod, the Anna Capri. 1922, Lily Hot Summer, 1924, Oak Cafe, 1925, Lily LB, 1928, Solitaire or Queen of Hearts, Lily, 1928, Johann Sebastian Bach, Humbleman, 1936, and Young Woman Riding a Centaur, and a Portrait of Reading Woman with a Dog. The date of the last two paintings were not identified. So the following are also her artworks and the style Art Nouveau. So the first painting is entitled Portrait of a Young Girl, 1904, Lady in a Large Hat, 1909, A Little Rascal, 1916, Woman with Two Dogs, 1915, A Noble Woman, 1910, Dressing Down, 1914, and Portrait of Ellen Vanco, 1906, Young Girl in a Roroca Dress, Frightened by a Peacock, 1918, Paid Pidger, 1917, Large Toil Skirt, 1914. So th those are some of her famous artworks. Who is Gerda Wegener? Gerda Maria Frederick Wegener was born on March 15, 1886 and died on July 15, 1940. Was a Danish illustrator and painter. Wegener is known for her fashion illustrations and later her paintings that push the boundaries of gender and love of her time. The works of her were classified as lesbian erotica at times and many were inspired by her partner, the transgender woman Lily Elby. Wegener employed these works in the styles of Art Novo and later Art Deco. Gottlieb was born in Hamley, Denmark to Justine and Emil Gottlieb, a vicar in the Lutheran Church. Her father had Huguenot ancestry and her family was conservative. She had three siblings but was the only child to live to adulthood. She enjoyed art at a young age and began training. Her family moved to Hobro and later she moved to Copenhagen to pursue her education at the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts. Wegener's work was often of confident and elegant women performing a variety of activities in either a Renaissance-inspired style, Art Nouveau, or Art Deco style. The images tended to show women posing or participating in artistic endeavors such as theater, literature, and dance. Later on in France, Wegener created work showing women displaying seductive power or engaging in sexual activities. This risk art was considered lesbian erotica and published in illicit art books. Along with shifting how women are represented in art, Wegener also challenged gender and sex identity roles in her work. She did this in small ways such as draw drawing men with slender bodies and soft lines or painting her transgender partner Lily Elby. Gottlieb's work was shown in the Charlottenburg Art Gallery in 1904, but she gained little attention for her work. Her career as an artist began to mobilize after graduating from the Academy in 1907 and 1908, when she made appearances in the Politican newspaper. She then was the center of controversy called the Peasant Painter Dispute after one of her 1906 works, Portrait of Ellen Van Co, was rejected from the exhibitions of Dan Frey at Stealing and Charlotte Denberg due to the style of the piece. This piece caused concerns of Italian Renaissance Pajarism and split opinions of it showing a weak individual or an elegant beautiful woman. Gottlieb never got involved in the debate. The portrait was displayed by Winko and Magnussen's art dealership and received attention that boosted her career as an artist. Wegener won two sketching competitions in the Politiken newspaper. One was in 1908 and another in 1909 for best capturing Copenhagen women and then the figures of the street. Wegener was known for her illustrations created for advertisements and was also a portrait painter. She did art in Paris but was less successful in Denmark, where people found her work very different and strange as it often portrayed her husband as a woman. In 1912, Wegener and her partner Lily Elby moved to Paris, France. In Paris, Wegener began to push the boundaries in her artwork by creating more provocative um, paintings of women engaging in sexual activities and seductive positions. She often painted herself with Lily Elby or Lily alone, either portrayed as a man or a woman. Her work gained her attention and she was able to throw parties and experience notorious fame. Along with this, her work in the fashion industry took off as she illustrated for magazines such as Fantasio Vogue and La Vie Parisienne. 
Her illustrations were used in a wide range of platforms from beauty advertisements to political anti-German images in the Le Matin and the La Boinet during World War II. In 1925, she won two gold medals and a bronze for her artwork in competition at the very famous 1925 World Fair in Paris. She was exhibited in the Salon des Humoristes, the Salon des Independents, and the Salon des Atomes. She befriended Ulla Paulsen, a Dadish ballerina who became a frequent model for her paintings. She and her spouse were also close friends with artist Rodolf Tegner and his wife, Elna. The painting that is shown is the painting of Gerda Wegener in 1933, entitled Portrait of a Young Blonde Woman. The portrait that is made by Gerda Wegener is a portrait of a young woman with a blonde hair, holding a pink rose and wearing a white puff dress. The style of the art is art deco and a portrait genre. The woman in the art is surrounded by flowers, and it appeals to me that the woman is also a flower, for she is beautiful, elegant, pure, and so feminine. Among all the artists from the ancient times to Art Nouveau, I chose Gerda Wegener. Gerda Wegener did not become successful overnight and even her artworks was not appreciated in Denmark, where people found her work very different and strange as she often portrayed her husband as a woman. She is less successful in Denmark. I love how Gerda Wegener loved her partner Lily Elby, even if everyone is against them at the time, and how she continued her passion for arts in Paris in 1912. She gained attention for her artworks and along that, her work in fashion industry took off and from that day she didn't suffer again. Wegener's perseverance and patience is something I will admire forever and I will definitely try to apply it in life. The artworks of Gerda Wegener connects with my human emotion as a woman. When I look at her works, I feel happy seeing how women can be so beautiful and attractive. And also, in her artworks, I can connect myself through my imagination that I am that highly fashioned, beautiful feminine woman in the portrait and it feels good and I feel powerful being a woman. Thank you.